Hi, it's Hannah from Team MV, and today I'm going to walk you through a very basic overview of how to create a page using our new block builder feature. So you're going to find this by going over to content in your main MV admin dashboard. So we'll toggle down there and then click on pages. Now, one thing to note, um, pages are really more for like a sales page, a landing page, maybe an about page, your terms and conditions or your privacy policy and just kind of any page that you would have on your own website, whereas posts are more meant to be blog posts. So you wouldn't necessarily put a blog into your page. These are kind of just standalone pages, whereas posts are meant more for blogs. So just wanted to make sure that we covered that. Now, if we go down here, I've already done one test here, but I'm just going to add a new page and we'll call it block builder block building basics just for fun. Click add page. And this will take you into what looks really familiar at the top here. So you can see your link. You can edit this to be whatever you like. Um, you can shorten it or lengthen it. You can set your status to inactive, active, or invisible. You can choose whether or not you want to enable comments. And then the page content is going to look a little bit different. So this is the block builder now. So let's say we wanted to add a full width block. We would click Add Layout Block, and then it gives you a drop down menu of different types of content. So I'm not sure if it will pick up on the screen, but we've got header, subhead, body text, image, video, button, and custom, which is custom code. So I'm going to just add a header here. We'll click Add Content. And then underneath, I might want a subheader. And then I'm going to change things up a little bit. Let's go ahead and instead of having it be full width, let's do, we have an option between full width, two columns, or three columns. So let's do two columns. Click Add Layout Block. And then I'm going to put an image here. Now it will change to an image across the board here, but if you wanted to add an image here and then maybe add some text alongside, you could select body text and add it there. So even though it automatically populates across, you can still go in and change the different content types. So not to worry. And then just for the tutorial's sake, let's do a three column layout here so you can see what it looks like. Sorry for the train in the background. And we'll do a little video here. And this is not actually how I would make a page, but we'll put a button in the middle, which you can then customize and then some body text. Now you can do what I'm doing and set up your entire page with just a lot of placeholder text to start with, or you can build from scratch going down the page, whichever fits your workflow better. If I wanted to go in and edit any of these placeholders, I would click on this little pencil icon, and then you'll see there's a little red bar across the top, which tells me that I'm in edit mode. So I can go in and I can say, Welcome to the new block builder. And then we can click save block and that will take us out of the edit mode. You can also click on this tab right here if you'd like to exit out of edit mode. And you have the option to delete the block if you like. We're not going to do that in this case, but you can. And then this gear here will actually allow you to play around with the formatting a little bit. This is probably one of my favorite features. So you can play around with the margin of the top and the bottom. So you could change this to say maybe you want 50 here and 50 there. Padding would be padding around the block. I'm totally just making up numbers here. And you'll be mad if I don't go in a sequence, so we'll just do that. And then you can change your background color and the font color as well. You can say or show how many, how much uh, your corners are rounded here. So either small, medium, or large for your corners, or you can keep it at none. And you can also have the option to reset to defaults if you're just messing around with these and it gets totally out of out of control and you want to just go back and start again you can click reset to default so we'll click save settings and that takes us back into our page so now you can see we've got this little background text we've got padding we've got margins so it's a really neat feature just to 
really make your words, your images pop within the blocks. So I love that you can do that. And you'll notice that when you're in edit mode, this for directional arrow will go away. So when we've been having a little bit of trouble with dragging and dropping when in edit mode, so we've just made it easy, Mike's made it easy for you. And when you are in edit mode in any block, you will not be able to reorder the blocks. So you'll have to make sure to exit out. So let's just say I was editing here and I was editing here. You can see I don't have the arrow anymore. So I would need to make sure to come down here and click either save block or click on this icon here. And that populates the arrows again. So then you can drag and drop your content wherever you like. A nice big image below the header block there. Maybe I want to bring my button up here. Maybe. There we go. And that's essentially all the different features of the new block builder. So have fun with this, play around. And if you have any questions, please do reach out to us at chat support or email hello at membervault.com.